disgraced royal, Prince Andrew, has had his invitation withdrawn for many public engagements in Northern Ireland following shocking revelations over his friendship with billionaire pedophile, Jeffrey Epstein. Prince Andrew, the one-time favorite child of Queen Elizabeth, had his invitation withdrawn by an organization in Northern Ireland, as they worried his being there would change the narrative surrounding the event. According to the publication, it was not the royal household who pulled out, but the hosts. The main event that the Duke of York won't be attending is a ceremony at Portrush Railway Station to celebrate its $8 million upgrades. The father of Princess Beatrice and Princess Eugenie will still attend a youth golf tournament on the North Antrim coast. A spokesperson from Buckingham Palace confirmed that Andrew will be attending the Open Golf Championship, as he is a member and patron of the golf club in Portrush. The Duke of York has a full program in Northern Ireland as founder of the Duke of York Young Champions Trophy, the official palace statement began. HRH will undertake a number of engagements related to the tournament, at which there will be 66 sportsmen and women from 35 countries. The Duke will meet volunteers, supporters and representatives from local businesses, host the tournament dinner, attend the tournament and present prize. Prince Andrew's links to Jeffrey Epstein have been deeply damaging for the royal family, and sources claim that his mother, Queen Elizabeth, is concerned and distressed by the scandal. The Duke of York has remained fairly quiet about the allegations that he was aware of the sex offender's horrific pedophile ring. His first statement was to deny all knowledge of the sexual abuse and his second was to express his regret over visiting the former financier after his release from prison. A close friend to the Queen told the Sunday Times. You've got a serious crime linked to the kind of behavior towards women that people feel particularly strongly about at the moment. Andrew's association with, Epstein, is deeply damaging and he needs to deal with it. Ever since Prince Andrew was first publicly accused in 2011 of having sex with Virginia Roberts Jufrey, one of Jeffrey Epstein's underage sex slaves, he has reassured his mother that there is nothing to the allegations. For years, Queen Elizabeth has taken her second and reportedly favorite son at his word. But concerns about Andrew's ties to Epstein were revived after the financier's arrest on new sex trafficking charges in July. The convicted pedophile's reported suicide in August also brought an onslaught of new questions and a stream of embarrassing headlines about Andrew. The 92-year-old monarch failed to reassure the public of her son's good nature and value to the royal family by riding with him in a car to church near her Balmoral estate the day after Epstein's death. Andrew also was roasted online last weekend after he returned from his luxury Spanish golf vacation and was photographed resuming his royal duties at the Royal Regatta in Devon, the Sunday Times reported. The Queen overall is worried that the Epstein affair is bringing a more lasting whiff of scandal to the monarchy, the Sunday Times added. Jufrey told the media outside of a federal court in Manhattan last week that Andrew knows exactly what he's done, and I hope he comes clean about it. More negative headlines could come if Andrew resists talking to the FBI in its ongoing investigation of Epstein's alleged crimes, even though one report said Andrew was willing to be questioned. Royal aides also fear that more embarrassing revelations could come in U.S. federal court come if any of Epstein's employees or associates are charged in his sex trafficking operation, the Sunday Times said. Attorneys for Epstein's victims have also said they want to talk to Andrew about what, if anything, he knows. The scandal already may have hurt one long-awaited project of Princess Eugenie. Andrew's younger daughter likely will put her upcoming anti-slavery and sex trafficking podcasts on hold in light of the Epstein scandal, The Sun reported last month. Eugenie, co-founder of the anti-slavery collective non-profit, announced the podcast in July. Both Eugenie and her older sister, Beatrice, have struggled with allegations that their father at least knew about Epstein's alleged abuse of girls and women, The Sun said. It's all very difficult for Eugenie at the moment, she and Beatrice are very close to their father and are being very supportive, a source told The Sun.
The source said that Eugenie realizes it is not good timing for her to launch a podcast against modern-day slavery, given that her father's one-time friend allegedly created a network of girls and women to provide sexual services to him and to his powerful male friends. In a 2011 interview with the Daily Mail and in a 2015 lawsuit, Jufrey alleged that Epstein's socialite friend Gis Len Maxwell recruited her to give massages to Epstein when she was a 15-year-old spa attendant at Donald Trump's Mar-a-Lago resort. Epstein was a neighbor of the future president in Palm Beach, Florida. Jufrey also claimed that Epstein and Maxwell forced her to have sex with Andrew three times in 2001, when she was 17. The encounters took place at Epstein's New York mansion, at an orgy on his private island in the Caribbean, and at Maxwell's Muse home in London. Jufrey claims that the London encounter occurred the same night she and Andrew were infamously photographed together, with Andrew's arm around her bare waist. Notably, one of the more embarrassing efforts by Andrew to defend himself has apparently been to let his friends make anonymous claims to the UK media that the photo with Jufrey must have been faked. Their argument? Andrew's fingers are much chubbier in real life. In a statement issued late last month, Andrew admitted it had been a mistake and an error to see Epstein in 2010 after the financier was first investigated for sex trafficking and controversially served only 13 months in jail on a lesser charge of soliciting sex from a minor. Andrew said he deplores the exploitation of any human being, along with the suggestion he would condone participate in or encourage any such behavior. One royal source told the Sunday Times that the Queen has preferred to overlook Andrew's misdemeanors over the years, transgressions involving influence peddling scandals, associations with unsavory political figures and reports of general boorish behavior. That's because she is close to him and to his daughters. But it's becoming apparent to the Queen that the Epstein case goes beyond the usual misdemeanors, the Sunday Times